you've changed your management situation. Yeah, man. Um, shout, and I want to say shout outs to Ruben. Shout out to Ruben. Shout out to Ruben. Man. Ruben, big ups, man. Because the way Ruben, the way he's interacted with me has always been first class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think even that, we wouldn't have our report that we nah, have now not at all. if it weren't for Ruben. Facts, facts, facts. So I want to definitely big up Ruben. Ruben Royal. Facts. Get me J-Star. You guys still have the business underrated legends. Yep. Do you hear me now? Mm-hmm. Um, so we're not making it messy, but why, why did you feel you needed a change? Um, I feel like maybe, this is not even like a maybe thing. I did need someone that was maybe a bit more invested. But see, the, the problem with, oh, see, the problem with, the problem with someone coming up from, with you from the, from the ground is that maybe sometimes when you're, Sometimes when you're, when, you're, when you're rowing together, you're in a boat and you're moving and you're moving and you're moving and you see how far you've come, sometimes it's easy to take the foot off the gas because you realise how far you've come. And sometimes you need someone who doesn't care about how far you've, how far, where you've come from and just cares about keeping moving forward. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, because um, he was with me from the jump, it was very easy because a lot of times I look back and I'm like, oh shit, man, I'm coming kind of far. It's very easy for him to do the same thing. But I need someone who is doing almost just as much. And when we spoke, he, he was like, yeah, like, I, maybe I wasn't doing everything I needed, I could have been doing. But for me, it's a one-shot deal, bro. Like, as my ma- if, as an artist, it's a one-shot deal. This doesn't pop for me, I'm k- still kidding. This doesn't pop for you, you can manage someone else. So those, those moments when you're foot off the gas, it only affects me. It affects you, don't get twisted, but it affects you because it affects me. You see what I'm saying? And I can't have that. I actually can't have that. Friend, family, mum, dad, they can't have that. But initially, was that like a hard conversation to have? I put my pussy down that conversation for like two months. Pussy around it, bro. Pussy. I need to do it. I need to do it. Never had it. And, and I, think, I reckon he saw it coming. I don't understand why he didn't fix it, though. I don't, I, that's one thing that's, that's kind of gone over my head. Do you know what? But, and this is where I'll step in, in for like my, my perception, bro. How long we looked? How long? Sorry, how long we together? Looked? Yeah, no, that's like, how can I reword it? Like, how long we like three years? Well, I've known him forever, for like, like years. I've known, I've known him for years, but managing my career about two and a half years now. Okay, bro. When you see the signs, yeah, yeah, bro. Three, all right, again, minus that, but like in a relationship, bro. When you see, when you see it's coming to an end, you pattern it, innit? it. Sometimes you just it's fatalistic. You just you can't you can't. There's no more fight left in you. Yeah, you, so you can't be on my team with no fight. Bro, people get jaded. Do you know what I've, do you know what I've seen happen with managers? Well. All right, shout out to all the whack managers. I'm not saying that Ruben's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> but there's somewhere, bro, it's like, the artist is so sufficient that when the artist makes a big tune, the song creates the opportunity. Mm-hmm. So all we have to do is just manage. Manage the, the opportunity. Yeah, manage yeah. the opportunity. As opposed to Create an opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. That's what music management is. Manage an opportunity, create an opportunity, and decide what is the best opportunity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you've got a manager and they're in a place where they haven't been able to create a feasible opportunity mm-hmm. for six months to a year, it's dead. Then, and they don't know how to do it. It's dead. And I think at that point, it's like, what you would need is an opportunity. Mm-hmm. If I can provide the opportunity, then... How, mm-hmm. how, what can I do to pattern? You gotta hunt then. You gotta have that. You gotta have the hunt. There's always an opportunity. You have to have the hunt in you to find that opportunity. Though. Mm. I've got to talk to you. Be like, bro, like, I know it's down for us right now, but I've got four meetings this week. I'm, they they wasn't allowing me in the building, but I stayed outside for two hours. I but you wouldn't that. hear that. But you, I reckon you as a character will feel upset if nothing came of it. But I just care about you trying, bro. But do you get what I'm saying? Is that Don't get twisted. If nothing came from it, but then I have nothing to say to you, then I can't come to you with anything because you've done everything you can. You're sweating right now. There's blood on you right now. You're sweating. If you're saying to me, bro, they don't respond to my emails, I'm saying, what are you doing about that? And your, your answer can either be, what, what, what do you expect me to do? They don't respond to my emails. Or your answer could be like, you know what, tomorrow I want to go down there still. I want to do this. I want to do that. Yeah. Mm. If you do that, I have no chat for you, bro. But if you're saying you're not going down there, now my mind registers that. They're not replying to emails, but he's not even doing anything, bro. Why is he not but, hungry to yeah, go down there? No, I hear that. I just always felt like sometimes, like, maybe people feel like they've done enough. And it's not. And they don't know what else to do next. Some artists would accept that. 
Absolutely. This is my only option in life. My only option, bro. So I cannot accept that. This is all I have going for me, bro. Like, this has to work, fam. You see what I'm saying? So, like, I can't accept that. If you feel like you've done everything you can, bro, and I don't feel like you have, then we just got to agree to disagree and, and I wish you all the best. And you, you can feel right and you can, you can, you were still, in your, in your eyes, you will have a solid argument. I've done everything I could. What more could I do than send an email? I don't understand. But if I'm a hustler, bro, and I'm thinking to myself, you can go down there. They can be annoyed of you. I remember seeing, I remember hearing a Charlie Sloth story, yeah? Charlie Sloth used to go down to BBC so much he got banned. He got, <laughs> he got banned from there. Serious? Yeah. And the day that he saying, well, I'm on a show, I'm on a show. And the day that his band got lifted, he was outside. Saying, I need a show, I need a show. And then they gave him a chance and then his career flourished. Because he was doing a whole jump off TV. He, he, was, he, did, he, was, he, he was like a troll. Everything. But what I'm saying is... He's a felt of... He's a, he's a, He's a rapper. He's a failed rapper. He's yeah, a failed rapper, yeah. yeah. It didn't work for him. But he went for it so much that it had to happen, bro. And I need someone like that. I don't want you to, I, I can't be your golden goose, bro. I can't be your, your lucky ticket and you're just lucky you knew me in life and then I, I grinded so hard and you was lucky to be a part of my life. You can be my friend and be that. And then you can, mm. you don't get paid monthly for that, though. <laughs> Man, I'm I can catch. bust you. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? But, not, nah, and I need someone that on it every day. No shade, because that person could also, can, again, like I'm saying, feel so right in the argument and saying they've done everything they could. That's fine. In your, in your eyes, you've done everything you could. Cool. That's it. Well done. Do you feel you did everything you could in the situation? Yeah. I, the only thing I should have done is, is not pussied out and had that conversation a lot sooner. But I mean, like, do you feel like you did everything within the manager artist relationship? Mm -hmm. I was, I meet people, they say, well, I didn't know you had a manager. Okay. A lot of the time. Like I pattern everything, bro. Like I pattern best. Fe like. Features. Pattern features, a pattern studio. A lot of, lot, a lot of time in managers, managers are like, I've got to set up a studio session here for you to be here at this time. Da, 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 da. Pattern, a, pattern, a pattern studio, a pattern. Anything that was happening in my career, a lot of the time it was for me doing stuff. It was hands on. There was, never, there was never a conversation I wasn't really a part of. Unless it was like the business side. Yeah. Where a booking agent wants to meet up with someone, or someone had a meeting about something like that. But in regards to everything else, it was, it was, there was never nothing that I kind of didn't really have to play a part in taking care of. Mm. But again, shout out to Ruben. Shout out, man. Yeah, man. And these are just real, like, this is like, when you have homeboy managers, bruv, the business will dictate what the relationship actually is. Fact. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if, if the business is handled correctly, it just reinforces why our relationship is what it is. If that part goes a bit, everything else fucks up. Yeah. Now man's in a now man's in a in a space man man never thought man would be in in a million. How do you mean? With like I said, the business has almost fucked up the relationship mm. for me anyway. And now man's in a space man never would have wished man would ever be in. You get me? Mm. And it's just like bare things are coming out. It's like oh shit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. Like do you know? Okay, do you know what the scary thing is for me? <laughs> A lot of people are saying um, rappers are not paying attention to black women. Yeah. Or dark skinned women. Or dark skinned women. Okay, so it's, it's, it's it does seem to be dark skinned yeah. women. It is colorism, yeah. But the scary thing is, is the people that are saying these things, they don't take into consideration anything apart from the, the, the color of the person's skin, which is what the issue is in the first place. If I had a white woman, which is my missus, yeah, the people would say, well, I like, why well, are you not with a black woman? Even if I had a light skinned girl. She a black skin girl could be black, but just fair skin. They would come to her and be like, "Why is he with this dark skin girl? Why is he? Why, why isn't he with a dark skin girl? Da, 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 da. He must not love his own. Must not love his mother or whatever." But the scary thing is, yeah, that you're not even taking into consideration who that person is as a human being. It's like they would prefer me to be of a dark skin woman. That's not, or like a rapper to be of a dark skin woman, whether she's good for him or not. Mm -hmm. Then uh, someone who's actually good for him, despite the color, it's either we're going to take into consideration color, or we're not going to take into consideration color. If we're not take, what we should really take in is the person as a human being, how they are as a human, whether they're good for me or not, whether yeah. they're, whatever. This I could have a dark skinned woman that does nothing for me, that doesn't help. It's a poor mother. Mm -hmm. Why would I be with her when I, I could also have someone else who maybe is not that same color? but actually has, has good merits to them, actually cares about me as a human being, making sure I'm healthy, making sure I'm clean, actually being a good woman. But that's never the conversation. And do you know what I think is? I think the narrative's been fixed where it's like, all the points you said before is like, 
oh, but he's dark, so he doesn't love his mum. It's like, how do you, how, how, how do you tell me? How do you link those together? It's this, it's, I don't know if it's psychoanalysis. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. But even the thing that you just said now, like, mm-hmm. I guarantee you, like, if anyone just takes apart that part, this part of the interview, they're going to say, but we're not talking about what people are on the inside. We're saying that what you guys are attracted to. You guys see beauty. Do you know what I'm saying? It's always like everyone's framing and different you, things. You can't please. It's, it's impossible to answer every question. Because yeah. if you answer every single question, mm-hmm. you will contradict yourself. Like you will, innit? So you've just got to do what you feel is right for you, man. I don't care. But I care more about who you are as a human being. Don't get twisted. I'd love for my, I'd love for my woman to be the same colour as my mother. I'd love to be able to look at my... I'd love, I'd love for my daughter to see my mother see her, see, to see my nan, see my aunties and be like, they're the same colour as me. I look up to them, I understand where they're coming from. I love for someone, I love for my missus and my woman to understand the same struggle as my mother, her, my, my daughter's mother and her aunties go through. That's a blessing. You're being raised amongst the queens. But I care way more about, about who, who your mother is and how she'll raise you as a woman than anything else. Then I'd prefer to have, because you may have a dark skinned woman and your child be an albino, like, you there's, you there, that, I, it's, it's, I care way more about the content of, of my daughter's character, which will be inherited and raised by her mother, than anything else than about was regards the colour of her skin. I don't give a damn about the colour of her skin. And, and sometimes you have those generational skits where like both the parents are dark skin. And, and the, the child's, child's light skin. skin. What does happen? Does that make them any less black? Like, where they're putting too much emphasis on the completely wrong things colour of the skin rather than the content and the character. And the content and the character should be the only thing that matters. They're so quick to slander anyone. Who were they going for? Big Tobes going for. It went for a crep, went for my cousin, went for Stormzy. But they have they, they they not once have asked whether these females are good to them as as in a relationship. If they're checking for them. Can be checking for their mums, can be checking for their nans. Yeah, they have no idea. Bro. They're so focused on the colour of the skin. It wipes out everything else that truly matters. And those people, you don't even want to hear from them, bro. You say what you want, I don't need your shit. Do you think it's, I mean, do you think it's like, you guys are like public figures, but it's, it feels like there's a season where people are trying to come for rappers. It's like to build an argument, we have to look for someone else to highlight. What our issue. point is? Yeah. Yeah, and they don't actually investigate enough to know if they actually have a valid point or not. They just see the surface. And the surface is his wife is, is light skinned. And that's all, that, that's all they need to know. Nothing else, like nothing else, like that's mad, like that is crazy. That's that's. But again, it's it's like I hear mad people talking on the on. If when I was when I used to be on like say I get a train or a bus or something, when I hear mad people talking, I'd be a fool to try and understand that conversation, bro. I gotta be like, that's what you're talking about. Cool. If my name pops up in that conversation, the rest of that conversation is mad. Alright, cool. Yeah, you gotta do your thing. I'd be a mad to get involved and try and understand your madness. Nah, man. And a lot of the time, the people cussing don't actually care about it that much. Don't actually care about it that much. They just want something to say. They want to be seen as saying something. I used to be that person. Bro. I remember tweeting. Don't you remember back in the day? Yeah, when everyone was tweeting, and no one had any any sets of like hierarchy or celebrity, you became popping through your retweets. And yeah, yeah. try and know through that era. Anyone would have said anything <laughs> for to get retweets. For a retweet. Anyone would have said anything to get retweets. It's exactly the same thing. People just want to be seen, bro. So they will say the recce stuff. I've had people... I have, cause I, get, I got eczema around my eyes, yeah? I've had one guy in particular, yeah, he said... On one of my... Con- I say buff all the time. One of my, Panda eyes. You're a dickhead. It's hitting me up, hitting me up. That guy in ham in the comments, you get me? I hit him up like... Bro, I can't lie, the panda eyes thing is funny, you know. Brother, you're sick. That's funny. Anyway, keep, keep shining, man. Like, God bless you. And he hit me up back. Bro, I'm so glad you saw my comments. Yeah, I do music, basically. <laughs> like, can you just check out some of my stuff and that? And I saw that. I said, all right, cool. This is, this is all I need to see. Like, this is let me know exactly what. Yeah, so, so whatever, man. Advice, though. Um, have you told everyone that? Do people all the way fully know how that fully came about? Have you, have you told, have you broken that down? Not really. Well, so, to some people, it's the same questions in every interview, though, when they, in, when they ask, man. So I don't know if they pay attention or not, though. Because I ain't watched any of them, bro. Like, all right, cool. So, the, the, you, know, you know how, how I come about? Right, I must right, have told should, you. Should I pretend like I'm a cadet? All right, cool. If, right, I, get, cool. if I get it wrong, yeah. All right, go ahead, go ahead. All right, sorry, guys. I'm not on camera, right? 
So basically, yeah. No, as I thought. <laughs> like, man's on set mm. for Shiro's story. It's lunchtime, innit? Got a, like some time to, to, to like um, chill. I see Dino, I'm like, bruv, come man, just come come in the car, bruv. Like, like man, man I want to play you something. Okay, I may be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to play you something. 45, and then all I know, 45 minutes later, advice to say. All right, so we're on shower story set. Spot on. Rap man, we had, rap man said no one's allowed to be on set for this hour. Because mm-hmm. um, that was when he was showing the little girl getting killed. Mm-hmm. And no one on set was allowed to know what was going to end. You get me? And then um, Dino was there. I said, wow, we got an hour, bro. Come roll with me, man. So driving around, me and get food, got food. Because, and I was showing him love. I don't think... A lot of artists don't show the youngest love, innit? So I brought him to my crib and I gave him a free pair, of, I gave him a pair of trainers. Like, what are you saying? You're my size? Yeah, boom, they pick what trainers you want. Gave him some trainers, um, took him to drive in my car. So let me teach you how to drive. I showing him some big bro love, you get me? And I was like, bro, we should work, you know? Like, as in like, come while we're here, let's work. Let's work while we're working. Like, like just installing some real F, like real, there should be no reason why you're not working, you get me? And then we done a freestyle on the car and he was like, okay, I was like, what's just going to go off? He was like, well, I don't know. I got a lot of time, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to go off. I was like, this will do well though. It'll be good for us. It'll be good for us. It'll be good for us. Put it up. It done well, bro. The, the Instagram freestyle done well. Got a phone call. Make it into a tune. Make it into a tune. Make it into a tune. Hurry up. What are you doing? Conan. Conan was on me. What are you doing? You dickhead. Make it into a tune. Make it into a tune. Now. Make it into a tune. Make it into a tune. And I made it into a tune, bro. And took off man my biggest song in my whole career how many streams we at? I think 8 mm-hmm. just over 8 oh, well, that's a couple of months right? Mm. and it came on to it came on to Spotify and platforms like a month after the song came out bro on YouTube wow yeah because labels were talking about signing it and then everyone, just, everyone backed out so it's all independent but uh, that that's another disappointment though if bro it's just normal fam the disappointing stuff, bro, is normal, fam. Yeah, but I'm just... Do you know what the funny thing is? That people always say, you know, business, separate business from... But when you fully live this thing... All right, the... so it's even worse for me, because like I'm saying before, this, these are where I find my validations. Someone turns around and says, if I don't believe in myself, I believe in myself. But if someone says to me, I'm about to put 100 grand behind you, what I'm hearing is, oh my God, you really believe in me. You really believe in me. And then for the, so, okay, so you answer the question, yeah. If I put 100 grand on the table and I, for me believing in you, and you registered that 100 grand as I really believe in you. Mm-hmm. And then when it comes to, and then no more conversations come from there, how, how do you then perceive that? So the 100 grand isn't on the table no more. How do you perceive that? I'm going to feel dejected, bro. Like they don't, like we don't believe in you, innit? Yeah, I just feel like they're trying to, they're trying to twang me, bro. So I so thought it's very easy to think that, that that me not getting that deal could mean that they don't believe in me. But it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter how I feel, bro. If this is my only option. Don't care about how heavy the rain is. I have to go back outside, bro. Mm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I'm outside bawling my eyes out or if I'm outside skipping in the rain. I have to go out there, bro. I have to win, fam. Mm. I have to, bro. You and the Beat Freaks, bro, man. You guys, like, what is this? It's like some, like, cartel, bro. What's yeah, that? bro, you, the Beat like, Freaks. Are you, are, you, are you signed to the Beat bro, Freaks? What, no, what is it? No, no, they're my bros, man. They're my family, man. They work hard, man. Shout them out. Shout out Beat Freaks. Shout out Joe as well, man. They, they are the machines, man. The yeah, Pumpy's looking like it'd be another, another sign still. Pumpy's doing numbers. It's a street anthem, man. And that's not the streets. It's not the street streets, but it's, it's an anthem, man. Like, people are banging it, man. I like, I like what Swans did with the sampling as well. You got the sample? No. Uh, Sanchez, Living Up. I don't even know that tune, bro. You know that tune, Living Up? I probably need to, brother, I, like, I'm not a musical ear. Bro, bro. Uh, me and my friend Z, on the NZ, smoking sensi, sipping on some Hennessy, Living Up, Living Up. All right, when was this, though? What, 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 no, what type of sound is that? It's a reggae tune. Alright, sorry, man. No, no, but when when did it come out? Oh, old school, bro. Like we're talking. Brother, I'm not revival. Ah, right, revival. That's what we're talking. Revival. Yeah. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, that's like I ain't Nige, bro. Like, right, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. But um, yeah, no, Pumpy's a banger, man. The beat freaks are on it. Oh yeah, shit, the beat freaks. Beat freaks are hard workers, man. Yeah. Fuck with them. 
What, bro, what do you think? Is there anything we spoke about a lot? Is there anything that you feel like we've, we've missed, bro? I have a couple more things, but is there anything that you've wanted to dress, get off your chest, bro? Nah, man. I just want to work, fam. You good? Nah, nah. Nah, man. What do you yeah. think? I reckon you, you get the best out of me, though, man. Yeah, but do you know what I think it is? It's because it's like... I, I got a feeling that like maybe like God willing another like three, four months mm. when um, a certain video lands. Yeah. Yeah, that... Um, when that one lands. I, in my heart, I was thinking... In my head, I was thinking, should we talk about it from now? But I reckon we got away for it to land, innit? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a moment, though. That's going to be a moment, bro. But that's got to get a shot perfectly, fam. You gotta get a shot perfectly, bro. Perfectly. I think I gotta go broke, fam. You reckon? I gotta spend everything I got on it. <laughs> Living my money. Do you mom. know what it is? It's like money sometimes just means like it just limits. Like when you spend a certain amount of money, it means that it has to be a guarantee. If I give you an XX, XX amount of money, I don't want to hear any excuses. Independently as well. That independent. Yeah. Okay. Independent. You're an independent artist. Mm. Um, I'm not going to say the word lucrative, mm. but is it is being an independent artist? How difficult is it to just manage your finances just off music? It depends if you're good at managing money in the, in the first place. Mm -hmm. If you're good at managing money in the first place, it's amazing, bro. Amazing. If you're shit at managing money, which are you? Shit. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Would you? Right, would you usually like? Would you reckon are your non-essential purchases that you waste the money on? I can't say no to people, family. I can't say no to them. If I care about you, I want you to be looked after. If I, if, in my life, like I said, it's, it's more. My life is a, my emotions are switches and not dials. Yeah. If I care about you and you're around me, you're not paying for shit. I don't care what it is. It's like you are not paying for nothing, bro. So if you want a drink, bro, and we're together, you're not paying for the drink, fam. Right, anything you want, you know, we're not paying. Remember that, yeah, twice, bro. I tried to, when we was at, um, was going to the, the tent thing, you didn't let no one bite, pay for their food. If nothing. I care about you, bro, you're yeah. not paying for nothing, fam. And it fucks me over, like, <laughs> in the end, <laughs> especially family. Because I know I can get it back. I always know. I right, explain to me the section, because I, okay, I bumped into Rams the other day, right? He mm. came to fuck me in it. And um, we were just talking, but I just said to him, I said, bro, like you're, you're young, innit? But you're, but I can imagine the family, like, because when you said the thing about being the head of the house, mm -hmm. that also means like, you're, you're making a lot more money mm -hmm. than a salary mm -hmm. in their eyes. Mm -hmm. So I was like saying like, how, brother, like, how does it, how does that energy come to you? Like, yo, you may need to give someone a couple of hundred or a couple of Gs out. Like, what kind of circumstances are you having to face where you're having to like? Uh, anything, man. Yo, your auntie, someone, someone's got married in Jamaica, something, whatever. Yo, this bill, I get paid. Yo, I got fired from this job today. Can help me with this. This person, that. You know, you know your, your, your little bro this thing. You know your little bro that. You deal with some, head, some real head shit, some real head issues. Of course. Because you're that. And it's worse when you can't say no. And you have to learn to say no. And then what happens is, when you're a person that never says no, when you do say no, you're it's selfish. Good. You're a dickhead. Now you're just the worst person on earth. You see what I'm saying? That's mad, man. But I can't say that. I hate it. So, like, I've had this mentality from when I was on the road. If I knew, if I knew I, would, I can make it back, and then someone I know, my cousin, asked me for peas, because they, they only, people only really come to me for peas when they say they need it. Reality is, whether they need it or not, I don't know. They could just, I could be their go-to before they want to put in any hard work. If you come to me with that, I need it mentality, yeah. Um, and I, say I only have a bag in my account, yeah. Someone comes to me saying, I need this bag. I need this bag. My head goes, cool, give them this bag, because they need it. I know I can jog. I know I can do something. Doesn't matter how long it takes me, how hungry I end up being. How starving I am, how unhealthy I get, I know I'll get it back. So here, take the bag. Let me do the starving on your behalf <laughs> and go and make that bag. That's sacrificial, bro. That's, that's what being ahead is. And that's been the case forever with me. Well, forever, fam. I know I always get it back, so I'll I'll take your hunger. Let me I'll, I'll sort myself out. Don't worry about don't worry about how hungry I am. I'll sort it out. I'll so who does that for you then? No one. 
That's what being the head is, though. Mm. You know what's mad? Only going through counselling this year, I realised that sometimes you need people to do it for you. Yeah. But nah, no one. No one does that for me. I'll be, I'll just go, when I'm hungry, I'll go for the hunger of myself and do the grind, do my drugging. And then what's mad is that when you end up in a mad situation, if you end up in jail, the same people that were taking the peas off you are like, what, what are you doing? Why are you here? Like, <laughs> it's mad still. Mm. And when you're making poor decisions because you're hungry, same ones are like, well, I don't understand. What, what are you doing? Like, shouldn't you do that? That's how it goes, though. It's mad, bro. All right, bro, I want to shout you, I want to shout you out. I want to shout out to your... You got that Reebok show next month. Reebok it? show, yeah. About to Shelly down. Come on. Shut downs and that. Yeah, bro. You've done a lot. Like, bro, listen. This year's been. I think it's just been. A, it's been a mixed bag. Because personally, like the things that you're going through now, it's a lot, bro. And I don't even think that's something to really be touched on publicly because I think it's a private matter. And I know you're an open book, but I think. In these situations. You know what's mad? When it happens, there's gonna be a freestyle about it. Nah, bro. Let's not even talk like that, bro. I mean, eventually you're going to have it. I mean, yeah. So today, man, had the session and they were saying, 